J-Lo's latest is a Netflix action sci-fi film where the lesson is trust AI, AI good. Let's talk about Atlas. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the new Netflix film, Atlas. This stars Jennifer Lopez, Sterling K. Brown, Simu Liu, Mark Strong, among a few others. And before we launch into the specifics of this film, let me welcome you into Dan Reviews It. Thank you for finding this video. We do movie and TV reviews here on the channel, and just about every day something new goes up. There's always a lot going on. Uh, so with that in mind, please consider subscribing, click that like button, uh, comment below, all that stuff, of course, helps the channel out. And we have... Um, Links in the description as well to uh, my socials in regards to this channel. We've got the Facebook, the X, uh, but the the coolest, I think, is the Letterbox. If you're not on Letterbox, uh, you, you got to join up there. You can uh, rate movies, you can make lists, uh, and you can check out my personal Letterbox uh, on there. So, all right. Uh, anyway, this movie is uh, not the first J-Lo Netflix collab. She was in a movie last year called, I think it was called The Mother, um, and that was an action-oriented film. But uh, here we combine that action with a heavy dose of sci-fi. Uh, the plot goes something like this. J-Lo plays Atlas Shepard, who is an analyst with a deep, deep mistrust for artificial intelligence. And we learned that uh, 28 years ago, um, this AI terrorist Harlan um, led a big rebellion that left millions dead uh, before he was stopped by military forces. So now he is a fugitive and uh, we, we flash forward to the present and she is looking for him. But she realizes uh, pretty quickly that her only hope uh, of help may be an AI uh, unit called Smith. And so the two of them kind of form a bond um, and, you know, someone who very, very much hates AI uh, is now going to have to join forces with it. Um, so, look, Netflix has a long history at this point. I mean, years and years of these just, uh, you know, kind of, I don't want to say low budget because they're not. They're actually pretty high budget, certainly for a streaming service. But um, these high budget but low concept uh, action and sci-fi films. They they pump out at least, you know, one every month or two, uh, and they put, you know, a lot of star power behind it, gets those uh, views opening week, and then usually word gets out that, oh, this movie actually sucks, you know, don't waste your time. Um, but they get that initial, you know, kind of jump in numbers. Um, I can't imagine doing this all the time um, gives them a lot of new subscribers, but whatever, um, you know, it's a way to say, oh, we've got the new J-Lo movie on here. Um, this is sort of another one in that long line. It's not probably as bad as uh, a lot of the output there in terms of the action and sci-fi stuff, but it's definitely not good. Um, so let's start there. Um, I, uh, first of all, J-Lo, I think, is a talented actress. We've seen this many, many times over, and she's done a lot of different uh, genres. I don't know that she's ever done a straight-ahead sci-fi movie. I'm not as well-versed um, in her filmography, but obviously, look, we know that she's she's done, you know, the rom-com stuff. She's done uh, drama with the movie uh, Hustlers, which, uh, you know, I, I think maybe she was snubbed for, for an Oscar nomination for. I thought she was great in that. Um, and then, you know, like I mentioned with my review of The Mother last year, you know, even a sort of subpar script or, or whatever, or in, in this case, yeah, very subpar maybe. Um, you know, J-Lo can actually bring some kind of gravitas to the role. Um, I, I can not say I've ever really seen her like sleepwalking through a movie. I think she really is kind of putting her all into this, but the problem is the script is just letting her down right and left. Um, it doesn't help that the whole sort of uh, reason for these strikes last year in Hollywood was in large part because of AI and what, you know, how is AI going to, um, you know, maybe begin to take over our, our careers and, and all of this. Um, and it seems to be a little bit off the mark to me uh, that Netflix would put out a movie that is essentially so pro AI, um, but I guess not a, a real surprise since CEO of Netflix, Ted Sarandos over the weekend, um, made some really dumb statement about how if Barbie and Oppenheimer premiered on Netflix, uh, they would have been just as popular. That was that was a, a rare event experience that people wanted to go to the movies to see, dum-dum. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think he's a little bit out of touch with uh, what's happening around the world, but it surprises me that um, they would want to promote 
a movie that's all about, hey, let's praise AI. Um, I, you know, look, I, I'm of, of two minds about AI personally. We're not going to get into, you know, my philosophies on that. We're talking about this movie. But um, it just seems a little bit weird that um, this movie is so pro AI. Like it, it could have actually explored some interesting avenues, um, sort of questioning, okay, um, what are some of the positives, but also some of the things to watch out for with AI. What are some of the, um, you know, possibilities in the near future of AI? It doesn't explore any of that. It doesn't do any of that. It just wants to have some explosions um, and have this huge sort of bonding moment uh, or, or, or five between uh, the Atlas character and the AI Smith character. Um, so I, I don't I don't think it really took uh, the advantages that it could have with the script. And this was directed, by the way, um, by, um, hold on, Mark, no, Brad Payton. Um, and he has directed uh, a handful of rock movies, including uh, Journey to the Mysterious Island, San Andreas, and Rampage, um, which I think get sort of increasingly worse. Um, Journey to the Mysterious Island was okay. San Andreas was also okay. Um, Rampage, I gave an F to. I thought that was a god-awful movie. So, um, look, he's, he's definitely had his moments uh, with an action star, you know, of the rocks, uh, proportion. Um, but look, I, I, I honestly think JLo can kind of hold her own, um, you know, w with some of the he heavy hitters of Hollywood, but this is primarily a, a, a one-on-one -on -one movie. It's basically her and the AI. And there's a few small moments with some of these other characters. I think Sterling K. Brown, uh, is wasted here. I think Simu Liu is wasted here. Um, Mark Strong is barely in it. And, um, by the way, you know, Sterling K. Brown just Oscar nominated for American fiction, an amazing performance. Um, I just, I think he is a, a waste here of, of camera space and it's not his fault. Um, they just unfortunately don't really give his, his character any sort of, um, you know, arc or, you know, much character development at all. Um, and as a result, he just doesn't have much to do. Um, I will say the voice of Smith, I didn't mention him, is Gregory James Cohan. He's really in the movie, um, just about as much as J-Lo is. And the two of them do, do have, you know, a back and forth. Um, the humor sometimes works in this movie for me, um, which is one of the things I think, you know, AI sneakily does, you know, it, it, it is funny kind of, and tells jokes sometimes. And so it lulls you into a false sense of security. Maybe again, that's probably a conversation for a different time, but, uh, in any event, this is far from the worst of the action uh, films that Netflix has put out. I think it rises up a little bit from a pretty decent JLo performance. And, um, some of the, the effects are, are okay. Um, you know, when you're watching it on a phone is, you know, are you really able to tell bad FX from good? Sometimes not maybe, but I, I thought they were fine. Um, so I, I will leave Atlas with a C minus, which I think is maybe the same grade I left the mother with last year. So those JLo Netflix movies kind of, um, you know, keep keeping on par with each other. So, all right, well, thank you for watching Dan Reviews It. We'll see you next time. Bye.